So I had several people ask me about the R14 tires. Today we're going to talk about them, so stick with me. So look, the R14 tire, from my understanding, Goodyear designed this tire to basically be a hybrid tire. It is somewhat between the R4 tire and the R1 tire. So the, it, has the, it has the clean out capabilities and it has the traction for the most part of the R1. Now, I don't know that it has as much traction as the R1 does, but as far as the, the design of the tire, it got its influence from the R1 tire, the agriculture tire, and the R4 tire, which is maybe more of a construction style tire, but it's also designed for hard surfaces. The R4 tires are designed for, you know, driving down the road, maybe pavements, hard surfaces, working with construction equipment, things like that. Whereas the you know, R1 tire is more designed to be out in the field, plowing with uh, maybe ground engagement type equipment, uh, like, you know, a turning plow or something like that. It's designed to dig in and, and get that grip. The R14 tires were designed as a hybrid between the two, and it kind of, it's the best of both worlds. And in my opinion, it's done a pretty good job. Now, I like to keep in mind here that on an R1, they use a different rim. And an R4, I don't know for sure, but I think they use the same rim. Uh, but I don't know that to be a fact, so don't quote me on that. It's just that my understanding is is the R4 will fit on this rim, but an R1 will not. So therefore, if you order R14 tires, keep that in mind. You're not going to be able to take that tire off, in, in my understanding, and be able to put an R1 on this rim. Now, somebody may know more about tires than I do. So one of the other characteristics of the R14 tire is the shorter or, or lower sidewalls. Now they do have another characteristic of the R4 tire that is that it has a thicker sidewall than what the R1s do. The R1s have a thinner sidewall. I believe that's probably because they're, they're looking for a little more flexibility out of the R1s, a little more traction. So as far as durability goes, these are gonna be more durable than the R1 tires but maybe not quite as durable as the R4 tires. Now, the R14 tire also runs with a flatter surface here. The, if, you, if you look at your R1 tires, if you have a set of R1 tires on, on one of your tractors or something, you'll notice that it may have a little bit more of a, or an arch to it, or an arc to it. This has a flatter arc, arch, kind of like the R4 tires do. Uh, so that's just another uh, another part of this tire that resembles the R4 tire, but yet has somewhat the same quality and the same traction and the same um, characteristics of the R1 tire. So now the R14s do come in a radio or they come in a, a bias ply tire. So they do come in both styles. These particular ones that came on the my LS came, or they're, they are radial tires. So they're not bias ply, but they're radial tires. Now, if you ever do decide to replace these tires, they're gonna cost you more than the standard R1 tire. Now, I don't know uh, if there'll be, a, how much price difference there'll be between an R4 and these, but I'm pretty sure that these tires will cost more than the R4 tires. I don't know why that is. I think that they, they're, they're, they're a tire that has the same, to me, it looks like they have the same amount of rubber. They have the same amount of sidewall. <laughs> why do they need to cost more? Probably just in the design of the tire. And that's what I'm gonna say. They're a very popular tire right now. A lot of people are buying them. And that's what I see. Uh, and that's probably why they cost more because they can charge more. If you're gonna be using a lot of ground engaging equipment, uh, then I would probably suggest that you look more at the R1 tires and use that agriculture tire because you're gonna get better traction. Um, they're designed more for that purpose than maybe these are. These are a multi-purpose tire. This is that one tire that fits all purposes. For me, that works perfect because I do a lot of loader work with my tractor. I use it for some ground engaging, uh, engaging type stuff, uh, such as you've seen me using it with the subsoiler. Uh, you, we will be using it with a, a, a turning plow here uh, very soon. Uh, probably closer to the fall though. Uh, we've used it to shred with and all kinds of different things uh, that we've used this tractor for. 
and the R14 tires have held up and done everything I've asked them to do, everything. Uh, we move hay with it, I've cut hay with it, um, and, and the R14 tires have been a sturdy, uh, solid tire for those purposes. Always keep in mind that when we're talking about the R14 tire, that they weren't designed for the bigger, larger tractors. Uh, from my understanding, what they did is they went in and said, you know what, we're gonna design a tire to put on a compact, uh, a small compact or a compact or utility style tractors, and that's the tire we're gonna use. Now remember, this is a 75 horsepower tractor. Uh, basically anything up to right at 100 horsepower is considered a utility tractor. So they made these tires for this particular tractor. And the reason they did that is because they wanted you to have that multi-purpose as we've talked about before, to be able to use your tractor in multiple situations because a lot of times a small farmer or the small guy out here running a few cows a few acres of land or whatever it might be you know he doesn't need he needs a he needs a tire that can handle the multi-purposes for as his loader work goes his ground engagement uh, type of equipment shredding uh, you know, some, you know, like I said, some a little bit of plowing or whatever that might be, but that's the really per real purpose of it. And it was actually a good idea, in my opinion, uh, for them to come up with this style of tire to give you the traction and then still be able to, you know, use the tire on hard surfaces. So the R14 tire is a compromise. It's a compromise. I can't make up my mind. Do I want R1s? Do I want R4s? I, I don't know. I, in my situation, I don't want turf tires. I don't need turf tires. But in your situation, maybe the R1s are, maybe if you feel like they're too aggressive, or you want the R4, you want that durability of the R4 tire, but yet you need the, you need the engagement or you need the, the traction of the R1 tires. Here it is, the R14s. These are great tires. I, I, well designed, in my opinion, from, from Goodyear. They put together, a, whoever designed this tire was, was thinking. And I, I like the design of them, and they look good. How's that? They look good. The one of the things I have to say about these R14 tires is they are big. Okay, they, they, there's some width to them, and there's some height to this one. Uh, they didn't skimp on putting a, a big tire on these tractors, and uh, these R14 tires definitely fit that bill. This tire is designed to run with 23 psi in, the, in it. Now, if you have a loader on, it's recommended, I believe, on the side of the tire it says 26 psi. So you have you have two different tire pressures that you should run on this tire. I run mine at 26 PSI because I do use the loader a lot, and therefore um, the back tires are at 23, and the front tires have a little bit more air in them. But it's only like three PSI, so it's not like it's a, a huge amount more air. So this front tire on this tractor, I had to replace it already. Now, it was under warranty, and the reason we replaced it was because it had some unusual cracking in it and some unusual uh, wear to it that was just different than all the rest of the tires so this tire right here is not but about a month old right now and uh so you know some of the lettering was starting to come loose on it i it was kind of a weird situation where the lettering was coming off and it was coming apart cracking in the in the inside of the tire now at first when i first saw this starting to happen i thought well maybe you know i'd hit a rock or something and then you know spun it that happens sometimes on, on any tire you get a you know you'll get a what well, looks like a scratch from a rock in it or something like that but this was inside here as well and so we were getting some weird strange cracking looking uh, delamination type things happening with the rubber on this tire and uh basically even though there was a little bit of hassle to it goodyear titan made good on it and they replaced this r14 tire so this one here is not but about a month old but the rest of the tires were came on the tractor originally and they are wearing fairly well i will say that I'm, I'm impressed now you guys have seen all the things that we have done with this tractor uh, and it hasn't been babied so i'm not trying to do a comparison and show you the differences in and the two tires for as well this one's got you know let me show you the, the difference in traction and so forth there's videos out there you can check out for that if you want to uh, but the, as far as the r14 tire goes it's been a great tire for me and i think that uh, if you're looking for that that combination tire that hybrid tire that tire that serves every purpose then go with the r14s for me the r14 tires have met every single need that i have asked for them to do i did have a little bit of problem with one of the tires like we said 
Goodyear took care of it. Uh, it was it was uh, warrantied out. I have a new tire, and that's been taken care of now. Now we move forward. So the R14s do cost more than an R, a standard R1 tire wheel. So keep that in mind if you're also ordering uh, your tractor or you're buying a tractor that has R14 tires on it. And like I said before, if you plan on changing these out at a later date to an R1, you may have to buy different rims because I don't believe the R1 tires fit on these rims. So finally, here we are at the end of this. Would I buy R14 tires again? Would I buy another tractor with R14 tires on it? Would I buy R14 tires as a replacement for uh, maybe a R4s? Uh, the answer to all those questions is yes. I like the R14 tires personally. I think they're a better tire. Uh, they have the they have the hybrid that we talked about. They're hybrid between R1s and R4s. They're that multi-purpose, that all-purpose tire. And in my environment, for what I do, these are the perfect tire for that for that purpose. Hay work, plowing, um, anything I've asked them to do, uh, loader work, and so forth. The R14 tire has been my choice, and I like the R14 tires. For you, it may be different. Reality is tires are designed for the purpose that you want to give them. You don't go buy street tires and run them in the mud. You don't run, you don't go out and buy mud tires and run them in the, on the street, or you shouldn't because they'll just wear out really fast. But a lot of times that's why they have what's considered an all-terrain tire. Well, maybe, maybe you could kind of look at this R14 as that all-terrain tire, that multi-purpose tire. So, hey, look, I am not a tire expert. I don't claim to be, and, and I never want it to be. But at the same time, I've been asked, how do you like your R14 tires? Would you buy them again? For my purpose, for what I do, the answer is yes. Hey, we really do appreciate everybody that's been tuning into the channel. Appreciate you all. Appreciate all your comments and everything you've, that you guys have said, especially the everything that's been encouragement to us to continue these videos. Hit that like and subscribe. But until next time, thanks.